Hey everybody, this is Quaku from Next Gen Windows here to bring you another Windows 8 app review. Uh, today's app review is Adobe Photoshop Express, the official application from Adobe. Uh, it's the one you can pretty much expect on iOS, Android, and any other platform that Adobe has this app for. Uh, this application here, you can see this is how it looks like when you have a video, when you have a photo in, that you're about to work on. So this is what the layout looks like. You have all your options down here. And then this option is obviously a premium option that you had to pay for, but we'll get back to that later. Uh, but here you can see you can crop your images. So if you want to, you know, only show off this corner of your image, you can crop it, and then you can hit, you know, you can hit reset if you want to. You can straighten if you want to. You know, you can crop it, you know, weird direction like this, or you can crop it the other direction. Or if you just want it to be, you know, in the center and perfect you can just make sure it's at zero and then you can see it's perfectly square you can free it or you can you can do a whole lot of different things with it uh... you know one to one you can do it three by five you can have five by three a whole bunch of little uh... whole bunch of ways you can do it eight by ten so there's a, there's a lot of options you can choose here i could pretty much go all day explaining every single uh... option that you can do with it so let's just free it up uh... also you can flip it vertical you know, or you can flip it horizontal and vertical. We'll unflip all of those. You can rotate it counterclockwise. It has all. You can see it has all these animations for just the cropping mechanism alone. Um, you can rotate it counterclockwise, which rotate it right back. Then you can just hit reset, which resets it back to how it was before you started cropping. So when we go back, since I'm not going to crop it, when we go back, you can see now you have your color correct options where you can correct the color and everything like that. You can see it gets uh, a little more vibrant, but too much, you know, the pink pops too much. So we got to scroll down a little bit if we want to do it a little bit like that. So you see this this color looks looks nice to me. Again, I'm not going to go ahead and edit a photo in front of you guys because you guys could be here all day watching me edit this video this uh photo right here especially since I do graphic design anyway so you know I'll go too in-depth and too technical into it but you can see how the app functions right here and you can set the exposure levels on it so you can set it super bright if you want it you can set it you know darker you can set it just right if you want it I think the original was uh, perfect so let's go back to zero actually you know what there, there you go yeah, that 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 seems a little that seems a little too bright. Let me let me go back down. There you go, it's zero. And then also you can see you can highlight. You can choose your highlights on it, so you can see how highlight highlighted it is. You can go back down like this to make it like that. Uh, and then you can also choose your shadowing, which uh, you know edits the shadows. This this one doesn't really have too many shadows, so uh, it'll only like darken the background of the thing. So we can just go like this if we want it more emphasis on the front, these flowers over here that I took on my camera. And then if we want to go to white balance, you can also do that too on this app. It's a pretty straightforward application. You can pretty much uh you can pretty much just edit your photo the most basic you want to do it. It's not as technical as it is on Photoshop, obviously, because this is just uh express. But you can see now it's more vibrant with the temperature, kind of matches the spring tone that this was when I shot the uh, picture so we can check the tints out on it too if you want to make it uh, a lot brighter you go backwards if you want to make it a lot like more fall looking in the background you can go a lot darker but I think this is just right right here so then also another option that you didn't notice bef if you haven't noticed before is the reset option which resets it back to how the picture originally was I won't do that yet because I want to show you how a finished product could look like at the end of the video and then also you can view the difference between your original and this one so this is the original and this one and then you can auto you can hit auto white balance which automatically sets the white balance of your uh, photo right here and then also another thing you can do let's let's lower the temperature it's, it was bothering me a little bit there you go but another thing you can do is uh, share so you can save and share the thing it gives you options here. You want to say if you want to save it to uh, Adobe Revel, which has like an iPad app. I noticed, and also you can share it to Facebook or save to a device, which basically means save to your computer. Uh, obviously, Microsoft wants to call themselves a devices and services company, uh, so you know 
they called a device they decided to ha have Adobe call a device I guess but if you want to go back you can just click this back arrow and continue editing so then we're back to here you can go to looks and here you can set different basically templates on similar to Instagram on how you want your picture to look so if you want a really bright and vibrant you can do that if you want it to be you know darker you can do that when I click this thing then you can see what these things actually say so you want to see spring summer fall winter pastel haze koi aquatic misty dapple dream super punch vivid glow contrast punch black and white silver and car carmine and memory so since it's spring let's try out the spring one spring one seems a little bright let's let's see this one actually the spring one does actually look pretty nice because it is spring and it kind of matches the color of the uh, thing itself and then if you want to pay for premium looks you can see the, what some of the premium looks are you can see 60's TV grab which is this one you can see it's like you know the TV had a lot of static I guess and then you can see uh, a whole bunch of different ones like uh, bright cinematic classic colorful vignette glow grain high contrast black and white so we can see uh, what is this one grain you can see it's very it looks very grainy and then if we click this one you can see Orton orange is to the left of Orton pinhole sepia sepia one and then the blues twilight vibrant vignette vibrant vignette blue and they have a whole lot of them. Uh, I don't want to make this video run just to uh, name every single one that they have, which I could do, but I won't. Uh, here's the option that you can choose if you want to buy them. So if you want to buy them, you can see how much it costs if, when they check the price. And you can see it costs $2.99 on the Windows Store if you want to buy the Adobe Looks Pack, which adds all of these extra looks on it. That doesn't include the other pack that you saw that was uh, paid also. So when we just go back, uh, let's let's just free the looks. You can see, I mean, you can see the free looks, not free the looks. But and then we go back to say spring. I don't really like spring at all. So let's just uh, let's just have no look because I like the darkerness. Actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Let's just let's just go back to no look. I'm a little indecisive on which what I want this to look like and then also you can see red eye obviously there's no red eye it will sense for red eye if you have any so it'll tell you it'll tell you if there's red eye or not so you don't have to worry about it especially if it's just like a nature photo also you can see auto fix right here which automatically fixes your photo uh, based on what they think is the best you can also uncheck it if you don't want to and then they have reduced noise and for those of you who aren't photographers or anything like that or aren't big into photography I'll just tell you that noise is basically those specks that you see in your photos sometimes that are everywhere say if you have a grainy camera uh, those little specks are what they call noise so as hot you know if you want to set the reduce the luminance noise you can you know you can scroll up and it can it'll sense and it'll get rid of those uh, specks that you see on your screen sometimes uh, on your photo you can see my photo didn't really have really any uh, luminous, luminance noise can't really say the word but we'll just set it just to show you guys that it did something and then also you can see reduce color noise so you can see the color noise again my camera doesn't really produce any color noise or any kind of noise in general because it's a DSLR so it's it, it would work it works pretty well and then also you can hit reset to reset these options here which I can just hit reset and you can see how it's back to nothing so let's just click and then just click some random thing even though it doesn't have it and then if you want to view the difference between before and after you can just click view before this is before and view after you can see there's not much of a difference except for the fact that uh, you know the background looks a little bit different in fact the background actually looks clearer in the before but in general you can see how this app pretty much works also if you want to buy the reduce noise pack you can click on buy and it'll check the price for you and then you can see it costs $4.99 if you want to buy the item which smooths out unwanted grain and speckling I like how it actually gives you a description of what you're buying instead of just telling you how much it costs so that's a good thing that they did there and then when we go back uh, you can see actually it keeps on doing that to me All right. But when, now that we're back on the main picture editing screen you can view the original 
and then you can view after we did all the editing you can see how it looks now you can see how the um, it's not very like white now it looks more true to color and then if you want to save the thing you can hit save to upload to Revel share on Facebook or whatever you want when you click on any of these it'll just give you it'll just uh, it'll take a little bit a while to upload it to whatever you, you want it to do so let's say if I click on save to device it'll save my image and then you know if I hit save then it's saved and it brings me back to the main screen as if I wanted to you know start another image and then now that we're on the main screen I can talk about what the main screen looks like uh, you can see the main screen uh, here you see picture library which allows you to select pictures from your library you can see Adobe Revel uh, if you have an account with them you can sign into it and you can check out your photos uploaded to there and if you click on camera obviously it uses your webcam to um, to create a photo that you can edit and then also here's what the getting started thing looks like you know it tells you the basically this is the tutorial that comes up when you first launch the application it tells you how to use the application what each thing does so it's good for, for beginners and everything like that um, and then also when we go back to settings you can see sharing options so you can see Facebook I haven't signed in so it won't even uh, even though it shows share to Facebook uh, it, I wouldn't be able to do it anyway clear cached images and then when we go back you can see about there's the about you can see the version information and everything like that you can see permissions rate and review which again takes you to the Windows Store and allows you to rate and review the thing now we can do the snap view test so when we snap it you can see how it looks like there you can see, you know, it looks pretty nice uh, when you snap it. It doesn't look, uh, you know, drainy and chalked up. It doesn't look like it's unusable snapped. How about that? However, when you do select an image and you snap it, you can't edit it. You actually have to. It just shows the image, like, just like that. Just showed like that. Imagine if this camera image was your image. It would just show it, you know, filled up, similar to some other apps. And it just show the image in the center with nothing else around it and then when you open it up then you can start editing so that's a little thing but nobody's really going to edit a photo at least I don't think uh, in snap view because it's kind of counterproductive kind of too tiny especially if you're a photo editor but in general this was Adobe Photoshop Express for Windows 8 and RT you can check it out right now on the Windows Store for free plus all those uh, extra packs that cost I think like $2.99 or $4.99 or whatever amount they costed that we clicked on you can take a look at those if you want extra features to your application. It's a pretty decent application. I'd recommend it if you're an on-the-go person. You have a Windows RT machine, and you know you just want to have your photos quickly edited on the go. Say if you're out in the wilderness and you're like some of those uh, videos that you see with the ASUS and everything like that. It's a pretty good application for that. But it's not in-depth. It's not an in-depth op application. I can't say that word. But yeah, again, this is Quaker from Next Gen Windows. This was Adobe Photoshop Express. If you have any comments about this application, or you have any comments on what else I should review, leave a comment below or send me an inbox message, and I'll take a look at it. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.